Alright man, so today we got how to block the toss up dunk. So before we get this footage going, because I had Oreo jump in here to um be my toss up spammer. So shout out to Oreo. <laughs> I appreciate you for the help, man. I could not have done this without you. So yeah, so when you're blocking a toss up dunk, it's basically the same timing and positioning that you would be in for blocking a close dunk. So if you don't know how to block close dunks, you should probably go and figure that out too because those are more common than toss-up dunks, especially versus a Daisuke, versus a Big Mike, versus Vanessa, versus Emma, versus Lightning. Their close dunks are extremely difficult to block and the timing for the block on the toss-up dunk is similar. The positioning for the block on the toss-up dunk is similar. So let's go ahead and get this footage going. Uh, just make sure that y'all remember what I said. The timing is similar to blocking a close dunk. So you know when you're blocking a close dunk, you have to jump as soon as they do. Uh, you can see my uh, ping is a little bit iffy up there. We're above 100. But I still got several blocks on this just by knowing the correct timing. I didn't have to preemptively jump uh, to get this done. So you can see that as soon as he tosses up the ball, I go ahead and I jump. And when it bounces off of the backboard, a lot of the time you're going to end up getting that block. But you don't want to pay attention to the backboard. The thing you want to pay attention to is when he tosses up the ball, you want to pay attention to his feet. Once the knees bend, that's when you go ahead and jump up. So as you can see, knees bent. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, ping issues. Let's uh, fast forward real quick to the next time that he gets the ball. All right. So here we go. Keep an eye on the knees. Keep an eye on the knees. Knees bent. As soon as the knees bent, we went ahead and jumped up and got the block on that toss-up dunk. Very simple. Now, the problem with uh, blocking this is it's not just uh, knowing how to block it. You also have to know how to avoid the screens on the inside because you have to be standing in a specific spot to block the toss-up dunk. And if you have someone setting a screen inside the spot that you have to uh, get the block from, then it becomes a whole lot more difficult to block this. So if they don't have a screen in there, pretty simple. Same position as blocking a close dunk. Same timing as blocking a close dunk. Pay attention to the knees. Once the knees bend, jump up, get that block, and throw some emotes at these cheesers. So we're going to wrap this video up. Y'all want to see more of this? Go ahead and drop a like, sub to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one, man.